Hi there. Today we're going to take a look at the Tarantula 3D printer, a, a low-cost um, 3D printer, from the perspective of someone who has never constructed a 3D printer before and in fact knows very little about them. So if you're new to this, join the club. This is the package as it arrived from Banggood. Let's take it apart and see what's inside. As you'll see later, there's quite a lot in this box. So a piece of advice if you're thinking of putting one of these together uh, is to allocate some room for it and kiss goodbye to that room for a couple of days or so uh, because you're probably going to need that if you have any problems at all. Uh, in fact, I did, as you'll see. Uh, and I made the mistake of doing this on the living room table so you can imagine how popular I was uh, there. Anyway, opening it up, uh, we'll see what we get. There's quite a lot of it. And so first things first, we have the construction manual and um, bits and pieces in there. This is by far the most important part of the whole package, without which you are doomed. So take note, it's all in English, uh, in my case, obviously. Um, there's a little card in there of some description, but really that's not of any use. After sales card... Parts list, hang on to that, that's quite important. And of course the step-by-step -step instruction guide. I'm hoping by the time you get yours uh, it has improved because there were a couple of little issues in there which kept me going for a while. But that is it, that will be with you all the time you are putting together the printer. And here we are inside. And so, uh, basically, you're going to end up with three layers of parts. There are countless screws and fittings, cabling, connectors. Coming up is the heated bed, which, just as an example, uh, a replacement heated bed is, I think it was about £40. So you can get replacements for any parts in these printers. Um, from Banggood and others, obviously. And then there's more. So by now you may be thinking, yeah, obviously I'd, I am going to need quite a bit of room to put this together. This isn't the bottom by any means. So what we're looking at there over at the top, there are four substantial stepper motors. Um, the power supply, which is your standard switch mode, um, industrial looking power supply load of uh, perspex parts and I believe up at the top that's the uh, print head. Here's a quick look at the stepper motors. They are identical. There's just four exactly the same which makes life easy. And underneath all of that we have a boatload of metal pieces which make the whole thing go together. Time to lay it out on the bench. And here we are with everything neatly laid out on the table, which is far too small for doing the job. You'll notice there's not actually a lot of room for um, putting it together. Anyway, there's the rods there, there's the base. Power supply. Motors. Steppers, rather and the uh, plastic PLA you get and the manual all ready to go. First things first, get out the uh, tools that they supply which uh, boils down to a bunch of Allen keys. I did find I needed pliers and a pair of snips so I would get those out first. There's no mention of needing extra tools, that's useless. Um, but you really do need um, some basic, you know, very basic tools. Quite a few Allen keys, I have to say. There you are. It doesn't take long when reading the manual uh, to realise that there are a few bits missing. For example, we have a display and we have a power supply and there's no mention of what to do with those. 
presumably just leave them lying on the bench. Uh, and there aren't enough of the little nut fittings to put the display up on the top. So that was that was one problem. There was a page reference that was that was wrong. And where to put the little micro switches is just mm, a little bit vague. However, it didn't stop me. And as you can see, I'm starting to get the metal rods out and start to put it all together. Uh, one of the things you'll notice very quickly is all the bags are numbered. And the manual refers extensively to the numbered bags. So if you're doing a particular job, open up that bag. So maybe you want some sources or something to put all the bits in. So the construction varies from uh, different sections of the unit. Sometimes you have little brackets that slide into uh, the metal rods. Other times you have just these little uh, nuts uh, that fit in. So there they are. It also helps if you have a cat to keep you calm. You may notice Simba sitting in the background there minding his own business having a good chew. It doesn't take long to get the basics together. As you can see, I've got the, uh, the bottom frame there start to put together. Um, that sort of cross section there, the two pieces, I got those the wrong way around the first time round. So do read the manual carefully. And here we are the next morning, even more put together. I've got a couple of stepper motors in there. Um, I've got the basics of the uh, screw in. Uh, I've yet to put the drive belt on at this point, but it's all starting to go together. At this point, I've got the uh, hot head fitted and the base mounted to mount the hot plate. And it's essential that you make sure that's flat. Have a look, get down and have a look underneath to make sure it's flat. Make sure that the uh, head, when it's mounted uh, with its um, the belt, uh, make sure that's tight and there's no kind of jiggle back and forward. Sorry about the poor lighting at this point. Uh, once again, we're back to uh, evening because I had some other jobs to do during the day. Uh, that's the control board, which mounts uh, on the front there. And uh, when you look at the ads for these things, they don't show you the mess of wires. They just show you, show you that box sitting there, but there's a hell of a lot of wires to go on there yet, as you'll see later on. At this point, I stopped videoing because I had to get on with the wiring, um, which is basically just a case of following the diagram. Um, this is a shop image of the finished printer, except that it isn't. Uh, they're missing the power supply. The display, there isn't, there aren't actually any fittings to fit the display, so um, I'm going to have to get something for that. Uh, and also, you'll notice that there's a distinct lack of cables in this picture. They're all the same. This isn't just one supplier. There are cables all over the place and no real way to easily hide them. However, um, in the next video, we'll take a look at the untidy version, then the tidy version, and then we'll actually put the thing in action and print something with it. Thank you for watching. There's a link there to the Banggood site. There's a link to my blog. Please subscribe to the video channel. And if you're interested in technology in general, have a look at my blog. Thanks.